Hi guys, I'm Sean. This is Alyssa. Guts, Guts is, is in our hearts. hearts. And this is in our rabbit hole daily. Uh, and we are back. And as you guys know, you've got a new president. Uh, we just found mm -hmm. this out the other day. We were very excited and especially excited to hear mm -hmm. that it's the first tribal president. And so we are going to get mm -hmm. just a little bit of information here. And, and yeah, we've learned that India has a president and, and a, a prime, prime minister, minister because yes, this is true. Of course, Modi is still prime minister. That's right. He ain't going nowhere, and but uh, we do have a new president. I, I'm yeah. not really sure how they share their power. Yeah, I don't know how it works because in Canada, we just have a prime minister. Yeah. In the States, they just have a pre president. So I just thought you had to have one or the other. So it's like they've got both. So there's I, different I think, roles. As I understand it, the president is perhaps more of a ceremonial sort of position with less power than the prime minister. But I know that you guys are going to let us know down there in the comments. So uh, let's check this one out. It's just a short news story. And uh, hopefully we're okay. going to learn a little bit more about we go. Drupati Murmu? Drupadi. Drupadi. Murmu. Yeah. Earlier today, India elected its 15th president, Draupadi Murmu, a name lesser known in Indian politics. She's 64 years old wow. and the first tribal woman and only the second woman to mm -hmm. occupy the top cons constitutional position in the country. From overcoming great personal tragedies to her public and political journey, here's all you need to know about India's new president. All right on. This is 64-year-old Draupadi Murmu. The ruling coalition Draupadi NDA's candidate Murmu. has been elected as the 15th president of India and will take off on July 25th. Since the beginning of the presidential race, she has had a clear edge over the opposition nominee. Draupadi Murmu accumulated more... Sorry, so yes. just to... <laughs> to muddy the waters Sorry, here. I'm a, yeah. t we're tense because we filmed this other reaction that was this about this kind of, it was just a really, really complicated video and then it, we didn't finish it and it was intense. I'm just asking a quick thing. I just, like, so when they say tribal woman like because she's from um not a big city or she's yeah from i think more, like more one of the tribal regions i'm wondering of what India. what would because a lot of people are from villages and then they move to the city and like i'm curious what it truly means so, yeah. when they call her tribal that's that's a really good question i think it would almost be kind of the equivalent of say a first nations person here in canada sort of a native american it's an um, th that would be an ethnicity yeah here. geez but but they you know yeah that's a good but they might say you're part of the bear clan or the frog clan and that's sort of a tribal uh, affiliation you know I'm not really sure what mm -hmm. uh, now as I understand it though in India like for example even when getting into post secondary institutions they hold a certain amount of seats for people from the tribal area so there is kind of distinctions made um, maybe you guys can let us know a little bit what does it mean by tribal. Mm -hmm. Than 53% of the total vote value. She has received wide support from leaders of several political parties, even those from outside the BJP led National Democratic Alliance. She is the first tribal woman to hold the top constitutional post in India and also the first president to be born after the country's independence. Ah. Draupadi Murmu has come a long way to reach Wait, where what? she is today. Born in the Santhal the first tribe president of after, uh, again, uh, like yeah, replacing so the old one? Well, well, I think what they were after just, independence, just saying right? there that she was born the first woman to be elected um, who was born after independence. Oh, okay. So that's what they're... Yeah, that would make any sense. It's like, what? Have they had the same president they're for just, like yeah, years yeah. and years? No, and also it's the 15th. So <laughs> yeah, it's they got 14 other ones. Dumb, that's dumb right. me over here. I'm such a little dummy. <laughs> go ahead. Say it in the comments. <laughs> to reach where she is today. Born in the Santhal tribe of the eastern state of Odisha, oh. Murmu worked as a teacher before starting her political career as a counsellor from the BJP in 1997. She then rose to being a minister in Odisha from 2000 to 2004. In 2015, she was appointed the governor of the so state lots of, of uh, Sort of governmental roles. Yeah. On the eve of the presidential polls, Murmu said her nomination had excited 10 crore tribals of India. Mm. While she has had a notable political career, her personal life was overshadowed by tragedies, including the loss of her loved ones. Aww. She had three children, two sons and a daughter with her husband, Shyam oh, Charan no. Murmu. One of her sons died under mysterious circumstances <sighs> in 2009. Her second son passed away in a road accident in 2012. 
She had already lost her husband due to cardiac arrest. Oh, poor girl. Murmo's daughter, Itishri, works at a bank in Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I was going to say. the agony, she worked oh. to assuage the suffering in the lives of others. But that's... Though Draupadi oh Murmu's election as a president has been historic in more ways than one, critics say it is nothing more than symbolism and optics. Uh. Speculation over a tribal woman leader's accession had already been doing the rounds before the presidential election. Analysts say several factors have worked in Murmu's favour including the Narendra Modi government's aspiration to consolidate the tribal vote base ahead of the 2024 general uh, election okay. and a boost to the government's East India focus. India has a vast population of tribals, more than 84 million people belonging to 698 communities 690. spread across different communities. India are identified yeah. as scheduled tribes. Many hope that Murmu's presidency could bring in the long-awaited deeper inclusion of the tribal community So for India, what will the first tribal woman presidency look like? Will it be a beacon of hope for the community that has been away from the mainstream and has long been neglected? Well, she can certainly be a powerful voice for uh, the tribal community, can't she? Leon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the... Okay. Jace. I love the, the culture of just what they wear. Like Modi looks comfortable yeah because you ha like here you'd have to wear like a suit and a tie and everything and it's like they get these sort of more baggier flowy yeah, and traditional the sort of it's Indian, a sorry uh, right regalia we like that yeah that makes sense there was some confusion because was i was asking like mm -hmm. i think it was our friend um because we were at the the sikh celebration here that's right like yeah. a sorry is that even a Dr the word for dress yeah, there's so, a different word i think the sari and I was, like, is sort of like the traditional or sorry uh, it's not maybe the sari is like the two-piece it's technically uh, maybe a two-piece but okay. it looks like a dress to me so then i keep being like oh sorry is like an indian dress right it's like well it's not a dress actually so, so you're liking the uh sort of the yeah, traditional sorry i should indian be talking about the politics uh, not the outfits it, we learned more about sort of the tribal uh the tribes i guess in india we learned mm -hmm. that uh there was what 600 and something of them which equals up to what was it 80, 80 million, million or something like that so yeah there's um, I, they must just it's, it's like people people from small rural community like tribes yeah, yeah. That's, um and they keep their culture alive it seems and it now and it, it, it sounds like from watching this that she's mm -hmm. got you know qualifications up the wazoo um so she's mm -hmm. you know not only has that experience as a teacher but also has that experience in politics um mm -hmm. now some people were saying like well this is just for optics you know they they're, they're bringing this show, tribal woman to look for show and virtue to, signaling well to curry favor with the voters um, yeah. moving into another election. So yeah, I think some so people are saying that Modi is signal. saying, oh, well, let's bring in a tribal. Uh, uh, so it looks like I so, yeah. care about And then they'll vote for me next time. And, this, and, it'll, and I care about the rural so people. And there's, like, and there's always politics yeah. involved. But I got to say, just from sort of looking at her, she certainly mm -hmm. seemed like a gal who uh, is determined, like I says, has a lot of experience. But even if like it, his election has nothing to do with her being in her position too, right? Like, it's great. She's president and that if people don't want to vote for Modi again, they don't have to. They don't. And they but, still get to keep her. But they might have some warm fuzzies thinking like, hey, he's on she our cares. side. Yeah. So but she's in. Like, it doesn't, at this point. I hear what you're saying. Like, I hear what you're saying. It's like, does it really make that much of a difference for his voters? I guess he, if he, you know, who knows? Some people just well, do whatever they can yeah, they're, for they're doing good whatever publicity. They can. Exactly. Right. You know, it's. Well, uh, we don't know the true intentions. We won't ever know. But. Well, um, I have a feeling we're going to get some comments down here and you guys are going to let us know what mm -hmm. you think about it. I just really want to know what the difference is. What does each do? Were you saying that like the, from your understanding, the president actually has more control? No, I, as I understood, the president seem, was more of a ceremonial position, oh, that, less power, yeah. where the prime minister is more of the, the powerful position. That makes sense. Yeah. Cause yeah. it's like, well, we haven't even heard of who the old one was we just think yeah, of yeah i know we think of modi, modi don't we and but but we do remember that when we watched the uh Oh, Independence Day, I believe, or Republic Day, rather, um, mm -hmm. ceremonies that they had both the prime minister and mm -hmm. president. Both of us were going, oh, I guess they got two leaders. To so. represent India, though, like when they have all these, say, summits or yeah. meetings, like, it, you know, you'll see Trudeau and the panel with and all Modi the... Modi is usually the... And uh, it's Modi. Yeah. That, it's that, I think it's the same role as what a Canadian prime minister is. 
maybe is president like what the queen is to us i don't know i i don't know that it's that ceremonial i believe they do have more <laughs> it's uh, probably at least they have actual duties governance and, yeah govern which she sort of just so apparently signs off on things like we still have to like she never will reject a bill but apparently she still has to like uh, approve the queen, that bills is we're talking stuff. about yeah 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 well, geez, uh, <clears throat> let us know, guys. Let us know a little bit more about the difference between the prime minister and the president. Mm -hmm. We're ignorant as heck. Maybe there's a video we can watch that oh. sort of clearly uh, <laughs> Sorry, uh, defines all this for us. So let us know if that exists and we should check it out. Um, and any other thoughts you might have on this new president, let us know down there. And of course. Oh, dang it. I pressed the uh -oh. wrong button. <laughs> and if you'd like to hang out with us sometime later, that's okay if we don't have the music. We'll just let you know. Oh, wait, there it goes. Now we can do it. I so freaked out because we don't usually control <laughs> on the sound box itself. And I turned off the recording, so I had to restart mistakes it. Mistakes occur. Ooh, uh, that was scary. We will uh, see you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. We love you a whole lot. Love you guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.